Hey guys, so I'm bored. Figured rather than just being bored and doing nothing, I would sit down and film a video. The reason the framing is like it is so that way it's like this brown bar right here. This is actually my um my wood, my woodwork in my house. And I have these lights hanging from them and yeah. But for the video that I'm doing today, you're gonna be able to see those. I don't necessarily like that, but I'm gonna deal with it because today I am just gonna show you my, I think that was Luna. Luna, what do you have? So today I'm just gonna show you my handbag collection. They're in no particular order of how I got them or anything like that. It's literally just, I'm just gonna grab them and show you. Some of them you've seen on my channel before, some of them you haven't. So I think I'm gonna start from smallest to biggest. So this first one I'm gonna show you, by the way, keep in mind that not all of these are like super luxury, super designer or anything like that. I just wanted to show you my collection of handbags. I do have a few luxury and a few designer, but like I'm not rich by any means. I just save up for the bags that I want and I get them. So yeah, that's just gonna preface my collection. So the first thing I have to show you is this wallet on chain. Um, I got this when I first started getting into handbags. I got this from Target. This is probably actually about a year and a half, maybe two years old. And it is still holding up pretty strong and I love it. And in this thing, you get two card hold, two, three card slots right there. You get a pocket right here. You get a, another slit pocket in the center. You're not gonna be able to really see this. And then you get another slit and a like really small side pocket. So this is very big, big enough to fit your phone. It's big enough to fit a wallet, even though it is a wallet. So I mean like, yeah, this is like a really good bag. It's really functional. I really like wallet on chains. I really want to get a Chanel one in the Le Boy style. This is my wallet on chain. Next up, I have this pink Y bag. It has a Versace sticker on it from when I went to the Versace store in LA to make it a bit more bougie. But this is a pink Y bag. It's supposed to be like the Y bags from, from YSL. However, this is from Romley. Um, I don't really know how I feel about the fact that they sell like a lot of fake style bags. Like I've seen Fendi backpacks on there and I don't know how I feel about that because replicas are not good in good in the handbag community and this is basically a replica of a YSL Y bag. Anyway, I got this from Romley and it has this gold chain. Literally all it is is just one compartment. Oh, there's stuff in here. Little mini ones in my bag. A MAC lip conditioner and then a Walmart receipt for a lot of stuff. And the total, oh God, the total on this receipt is 133.86. Next up, I'm going to show you my newest addition to my handbag collection. I actually really enjoy this bag. However, the Nordstrom website was totally wrong on the color. And I emailed uh, Fall Jarvin, but they were just like, there's nothing we can do about it. You need to get a hold of Nordstrom. So anyway, this is my um, Fall Jarvin Crack Konkin. I don't know how to say that. I know I'm probably butchering it. Don't be a twat. But this is my Fall Jarvin Crack Konkin backpack in, um, this is supposed to be, uh, pink and air blue. So, yeah, I got this from the Nordstrom's website. Even though I'm not exactly thrilled with the color because I thought it was gonna be more like this color rather than a, such a bubblegum pink, but I do still enjoy this bag. I really like the Konkin backpack. I actually have two of them. I have a black one, which is, uh, really kind of broken and it's slouchy. This one's newer, so it's still more, like, stiff and everything like that. But, yeah, this is my black Konkin and this is my pink Konkin and I <laughs> I want more. Um, next up, I'm gonna show you this bag. So I got this from a Goodwill for like $8. So obviously I knew it was fake, but it's like a good traveling luggage tote while well, the style of the bag is. I found a Firkin, which is a fake Firkin. I found a Firkin at a Goodwill for literally $8. And this is like the size of a 35 centimeter. So I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. I just have to. So I don't ever carry this because like I said, fakes are not very good in the, I'm looking at myself in the monitor if you're wondering. That way I can make sure my bag stays frame. I don't really like the whole fake everything about bags, but I, I mean, I'm never going to be able to afford a Birkin, realistically. So this is the closest thing I'm going to get. I could probably get a better fake, but this is literally just sits in my bag cabinet. So I mean, I just like to look at it. <laughs> and it's in the style of a Birkin. Like you pull these straps off, you put pull this up. Well, maybe this is why I know it's fake because real Birkins are not this hard to open. And then you lift these up and then you pull this out. Oh, hey, there's stuff in here too. Another mini what's in my bag. I have been looking for these gloves for so long and it's becoming winter time. So that's fantastic. And then here's another pair of sun, here's a pair of sunglasses. Uh, do I look bougie yet? Oh goodness. 
I'm crazy. I'm actually insane. Now, let's take these ridiculous sunglasses off. Okay, so the next bag I'm gonna show you. The rest of these bags are luxury designer, kind of high-end. So if you don't like that, click away. This next bag I'm gonna show you is actually the bag I'm carrying currently. And um, this is by Beefy BG Paris. And this is... Um, a bag that reminds me actually quite a lot of the Chanel Le Boy bag, which is my favorite, my like top tier, like favorite handbag style. I love the boy bag. They're really expensive. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm ever necessarily gonna be able to get a real boy bag. So I went with this because this isn't a replica. This is just like a inspired bag, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, this is my BCBG Paris bag. I don't know what they call the style of bag. I just call it like my boy bag. But yeah, it's just got like this, in like I said, this is the bag I'm carrying. Just got this insert and pocket. Yeah, so I do really like this bag. Again, I carry this actually quite often because it does remind me of so much of a boy bag and I just love style of the Chanel boy. Okay, next up, I'm going to be showing you a Michael Kors handbag. This is my Michael Kors Eva. I don't know what this is. This is just a Michael Kors bag. I know this particular color and uh, stitching is discontinued, so, but I know this style of bag is a thing that you can regularly get. Um, This has a slit pocket on the back. It has a big open compartment pocket in the center and then it's got this zip pocket in the back of it as well as this little slit pocket right here. The leather is really durable. I've had this bag for about a year, maybe, maybe a year and a half and there's no markings on it. There's no color transfer on it. I wear this with dark jeans and everything like that. So this is a really good bag and I really like it for like running errands on the go. Next up is another Michael Kors bag. This is my Michael Kors, I think this is a Colette in python embossed skin and canvas and yeah this is um i did carry this for a while because it reminds me a lot of a celine luggage tote like in the nano size uh however oh hey there's stuff in here <laughs> i'm gonna say that with like every bag there's two things of bean boozled beans apparently i don't know if these are ever gonna get eaten so yeah, and then this bag comes with its strap. It's the same kind of strap as the leather on the bag. You get one big empty compartment. You get two side compartments for like a phone or something like that. You get one big slip pocket for like cards, cash, wallet, stuff like that. And then um, this, which I really like uh, right here. This is a little uh, key strap. So that way if you ever put your keys in your bag, you can just clip them onto here and then you never lose them because you can just pull this right out. So that is my Michael Kors Colette. Next up, I'm not sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next up, I'm not sure of the name, style, anything of this. I got this at a, at a uh, confinement store. However, this is a coach bag, so I literally know nothing about this bag, except for the fact that it was small, cute, and tiny, and when I got this bag, I was into small bags. Like, as you can tell, small bags are kind of a thing that I'm, that I'm interested in. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I was really into small bags for a minute and I picked this up because I saw it at a confinement consignment store for only like $35. I had to pick it up because it was like too good to pass up. It's got this big, not big, I, <laughs> got a big pocket though right here. It's got one side slit for you to put cash or something in. And the really interesting thing about this bag actually is the bottom part unzipped. And if I do this, there we go. It's like another little secret compartment in the bottom of your bag. I don't know what the, what, why? But you know, convenient. This is also made of Vachetta leather and it's got like water stains on it and stuff like that. But like, I don't know, patinaing leather is really cool. I think it's cool. Like look at those handles. That's really pretty. All right, now my last two bags are like really like high end, like luxury up there, okay? Okay, now this bag holds a very special place in my heart. I've done a review on it. I've done, I did an unboxing on it on a previous channel. This was my first luxury bag I ever got, ever, ever, ever. And I've had this bag for now almost two years. And of course, the bag I am talking about, the bag that holds a very special place in my heart, is my Alexander Wang Rose Gold Rocco bag in lambskin uh, leather with rose gold hardware. Um, I won't bore you too long with this bag because as I did, as I said, I have done videos on this bag and I will link them down below. But yes, I just love the bag. I haven't, I don't really carry it very much anymore because it's more of like a sentimental piece in my collection. I do carry it sometimes for like very special occasions, but this was the first bag that my boyfriend got me from a luxury brand and this is just a very special bag to me and I love it so, so much. I kind of want to get one of the Alexander Wang um, Rockies, which is like the mini version of the 
the Rocco, but I think I'd get one of those in like black or something. And now the very last bag that I have to show you guys is my most expensive and it is my YSL, my Saint Laurent sac du jour in grained leather with white and black python embossed accents. This bag has been with me through basically everything. I took it with me to LA. I also took this Konkin with me to LA. I love this bag so much. It's so functional. This bag has a lot of stuff in it because I usually use this bag. I usually use this or I usually use um, this. My boy. Not my boy, but you know what I mean. My BCBG. Um, so yeah, it's got this pocket right here. It's got this pocket right here. And then it's got this inside part that opens up. I've done a video on this bag as well that I will link down in the description box below so I don't bore you too long. However, I do absolutely love this bag. I got this bag and my Alexander Wang from Fashion File if you're curious. So yeah, that was my handbag collection. Like I said, I just kind of filmed this video because I was bored. So yeah, if you did like this video, please leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more from me. Click the notification so you don't miss any time that I upload and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.